beside that was the sign of the cross. In token that thereafter they shall not be ashamed to confess the faith of Christ crucified and manfully to fight under his banner against sin, the world, and the devil, and to continue Christ's faithful soldier and servant unto his life's end. Amen. Amen. See the light of Christ. And when the bridegroom cometh, thou mayest go forth with all the saints to meet him, and see that thou keep the grace of thy baptism. Amen. Amen. Seeing now, dearly beloved brethren, that these persons are regenerate and crafted into the body of Christ's church, let us give thanks unto Almighty God for these benefits, and with one accord make our prayers unto him, that these persons may lead the rest of their lives according to this beginning. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Yield thee hearty thanks, most merciful Father, that it hath pleased thee to regenerate these thy servants with thy Holy Spirit, to receive them for thine own servants, and to incorporate them into thy holy church. And humbly we beseech you to grant that they, being dead unto sin, may live unto righteousness, and being buried with Christ in his death, may also be partakers of his resurrection, so that finally, with the residue of thy holy church, they may be inheritors of thine everlasting kingdom. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named, grant you to be strengthened by might by his spirit in the inner man. That Christ, dwelling in your hearts by faith, he may be filled with all the fullness of God. Amen. <laughs>
<clears throat> and congratulations, of course, to the Pindo twins, Eric Sebastian and Elijah Zelisi, on their baptismal day. But we'll have more to say about that later. From the Acts of the Apostles, and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Pentecost, meaning 50th day, 50 days after Easter, originally known as Whitson Day or White Sunday, in honor of those who were baptized on that day and wore white robes. The descent of the Holy Spirit on Pentecost marked a transformation, an epiphany for the apostles. From a frightened, motley crew, trembling with fear, to an emboldened band of determined men ready to confess the, faith, confess the faith of Christ crucified and to fight under his banner against sin, the world, and the devil. Indeed, all but John would be slain, martyred for the word of God and the testimony of Jesus. The color is red today to illustrate the burning fire of God's love and the tongues of fire which descended upon the apostles in the upper room on that first day of Pentecost. All right, what about speaking in tongues? The apostles were Galileans. What we have here is not failure to communicate, but we do not have hideous babbling or gibberish, as with Linda Blair in The Exorcist, or a disjointed slurring of words, as with the short-circuited computer Hal in the movie 2001 A Space Odyssey. The apostles, rather, were infused with the ability to speak in the tongues, that is, the languages of their listeners. Some thought the apostles were drunk, hammered at night in the morning. But we know, Acts tells us, that the apostles, overcome with joy at the descent of the Holy Spirit, caused their outside audience to speak of the wonders works of God. And we just witnessed one of the wonderful works of God. Two young men, Elijah and Eris Pinto, identical twins, which I'm sure you've all figured out by now, watched over by their proud chaplain mother, officially began their pilgrim's progress in Christ with the waters of holy baptism. They received the Holy Spirit the stain of the original sin of Adam was blotted out. They have now joined a countless host who have confessed Jesus as Lord and Savior by submitting to the first step in the life of the Christian, holy baptism. Branded on their souls is now the atonement, that one which Christ made on the cross for original sin. God is present in their souls in what the church calls sanctifying grace. And not only do you, Elijah and Eris, now have sanctifying grace, you are now truly adopted children of God and heirs of heaven. I say adopted because God the Father has only one begotten Son, Jesus Christ. He is God's only Son through generation. The rest of us are God's children by adoption. And your inheritance, your inheritance begins now. No one can take away your inheritance, not even God, because God promised never to take back what he has given. So much for the term ex-priest. You can renounce your inheritance by committing mortal sin, but no one else can deprive you of your heritage. Eternity begins not with our death, but with our baptism. And holy baptism in the Trinitarian formula is indelible, meaning it cannot be removed and must not be repeated. The same is true of the other two indelible sacraments, holy confirmation and holy orders. That is, when administered in a valid manner within the original apostolic precepts of the Church Catholic. Spirit and the bride say, come. 
I'm not the one who hears, say come. I'm not the one who is thirsty, come. I'm not the one who desires to take the water of life without price. Elijah, Harris, may you so lead the rest of your lives according to this beginning. May Holy Mother Mary and your holy guardian angels and your patron saints guide and inspire you. And may Jesus Christ, the bright morning star who knows no sin, rejoice one day at the souls you will have won for him, including your own. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. The offertory sentence, establish the thing, O God, that thou hast wrought in us. For thy temple's sake in Jerusalem shall kings bring presents unto thee. Hallelujah.
offer a holy sacrifice to the great and glory of God, and all of all the saints, and for the people that perish. Please remember our military, Jason, Joshua, Justin, Michael, and Diane, all victims of terrorism, depression, starvation around the world. And please pray for the sweet repose and holy progress of the soul of Mary Ludlow, whose year's mind is on the 15th. Rest eternal grant unto her, O Lord. Amen. May her soul and the souls of all the faithful departed for the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Pray, brethren, that this my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable unto God the Father Almighty. And the Lord is here to sacrifice in our hands. The Lord Amen. Let us pray for the whole state of Christ's church. <coughs> Almighty and ever living God, by thy holy apostle has taught us to make prayers and supplications and to give thanks for all men. We humbly beseech thee most mercifully to accept our alms and oblations and to receive these our prayers, which we offer unto thy divine majesty. Beseeching thee to inspire continually the universal church with the spirit of truth, unity, and concord. Grant that all those who do confess thy holy name may agree in the truth of thy holy word and of the unity and godly love. We beseech thee also, so to direct and dispose the hearts of all Christian rulers, that they may truly and impartially administer justice to the punishment of wickedness and vice, and to the maintenance of thy true religion and virtue. To grace of the Father to all bishops, Mrs. Shane, Brian, Stephen, Lewis, Walter, Paul, Mark, Francis, Bartholomew, Alexei, all priests, as much as this I am worthy servant, and all deacons, that they may, both by their life and doctrine, set forth thy true and lively word, and rightly and duly administer thy holy sacraments. And to all thy people give thy heavenly grace, and especially to this congregation here present, that with meek heart and due reverence they may hear and receive thy holy word truly serving thee in holiness and righteousness all the days of their life. We most humbly beseech thee of thy goodness, O Lord, to comfort and succor us. Allison, Amanda, Caleb, Bill, Carol, Charles Priest, Deacon Charles, Christopher, Cynthia, Dominic, Gary, Greg, Harold, Jack Priest, Jeff, Jerry, Joe, Karen, Kate, Kathleen, Kristen, Lanny, Larry Bishop, Larry Priest, Linda, Lewis, Maureen, Michelle, Natasha, Norma, Pam, Pat, Patrick Priest, Patrick, Peter, Rex, Robert Priest, Sarah, Sandy, Seth, Steve, Susie, Tara, Teresa, Tim, Tom, and Vera. And all those who in this transitory life are in trouble, sorrow, need, sickness, or any other adversity. And we also bless thy holy name for all thy service departed this life with thy faith and fear. Beseeching thee to grant them continual growth in thy love and service, and to give us grace so to follow their good examples, that with them we may be partakers of thy heavenly kingdom. Grant this, O Father, for Jesus Christ's sake, our only mediator and advocate. Amen. He who truly and earnestly repent you of your sins, and are in love and charity with your neighbors and intend to lead a new life, following the commandments of God, and walking from henceforth in his holy ways. Draw near with faith, and take this holy sacrament to your comfort, and make your humble confession to Almighty God, devoutly feeling. <clears throat> Almighty God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the maker of all things, judge of all men, we acknowledge and bewail our manifold sins and wickedness which we from time to time most grievously have committed by God, word, and deed, and against thy divine majesty, provoking most justly thy wrath and indignation against us. We do earnestly repent, and are heartily sorry for these our misdoings. The remembrance of them is grievous unto us, the burden of them is intolerable. Have mercy upon us, have mercy upon us, most merciful Father. For thy Son, our Lord Jesus Christ's sake, Forgive us all in his past. Grant that we the ever hereafter serve and please thee in the newness of life, in the honor and glory of thy name. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty <clears throat> God, our Heavenly Father, who with great mercy has promised forgiveness of sins, to all those who with hearty repentance and true faith turn unto him. Have mercy upon you. Pardon and deliver you from all your sins. Confirm and strengthen you in all goodness and bring you to everlasting life 
through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Hear what comfortable words our Savior Christ said unto all who truly turn to him. Come unto me, all ye that travel and are heavy laden, and I will refresh you. So God loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, to the end that all that believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Hear also what St. Paul said. This is a true saying, and worthy of all men to be received, that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. Hear also what St. John said. If any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous, and he is a propitiation for our sins. <clears throat> the Lord be with you. Wherefore, O Lord and Heavenly 
Father, according to the institution of thy dearly beloved Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, we, thy humble servants, do celebrate and make here before thy divine majesty, with these thy holy gifts, which you now offer unto thee, the memorial thy Son hath commanded us to make, having in remembrance his blessed passion and precious death, <coughs> his mighty resurrection, <coughs> glorious ascension, rendering unto thee most hearty thanks for the innumerable benefits procured unto us by the same. We most humbly beseech thee, O merciful Father, to hear us, and of thy almighty goodness, well say to bless and sanctify with thy word and Holy Spirit these thy gifts and creatures of bread and wine, that we, receiving them according to thy Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, holy institution, in remembrance of his death and passion, may be partakers of his most blessed body and blood. And we earnestly desire thy fatherly goodness mercifully to accept this our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, most humbly be seeking his grant by the merits and death of thy Son, Jesus Christ, and through faith in his blood, we and all thy whole church maintain remission of our sins and all other benefits of his passion. And here we offer and present unto thee, O Lord, ourselves, our souls and bodies, to be a reasonable, holy, and living sacrifice unto thee, humbly beseeching thee, that we and all others who shall be partakers of this holy communion may worthily receive the most precious body and blood of thy Son, Jesus Christ, be filled with thy grace and heavenly benediction, and made one body with him, and he may dwell in us, and we in him. Remember also, O Lord, thy servants and handmaidens, who have gone before us with the sign of faith, and are at rest in the sleep of peace. To thee, O Lord, and to all who rest in Christ, we beseech thee to grant a place of refreshing of light and of peace. And God say to grant unto our sinners some portion of fellowship with thy holy apostles and martyrs, with John, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicitas, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and with all thy saints, within whose company we beseech thee to admit us. And although we are unworthy through our manifold sins to offer unto thee any sacrifice, yet we beseech thee to accept this our abounding duty and service, and command these our oblations by the ministry of thy holy angels to be brought up into thy holy tabernacle before the sight of thy divine majesty, not weighing our merits, but pardoning our offenses. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. By whom, and with whom, and in whom, and the unity of the Holy Ghost, of honor and glory be unto thee. O Father Almighty, world without end. Now, as our Savior Christ has commanded and taught us, we are bold to say,
trusting in our own righteousness, but in our have full of great mercy. We are not worthy so much to gather up the crumbs on our table. Let our same Lord, who probably is always our mercy. Grant us therefore, gracious Lord, so that we can pledge that dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood, that our sinful bodies may be made clean by his body, and that our souls washed with his own precious blood, that we may evermore dwell in him and in us.